Hello again, welcome back. I think this might be the sixth and final one from the official Brewers for Oktoberfest, and this is the Lone Brow Oktoberfest beer. So I've had five others, there's six official Brewers for Oktoberfest. I'll put that in the description. I might put it in here as well, or here, or here. Let's crack it on. I won't, I won't read the, the label because it's all in German. It's 6.1% ABV, it's a 500ml bottle. I'm using my unbranded 1 litre stein. So we'll see. Apparently I've been holding the beer, the glass wrong. You're not supposed to do that. Apparently. Let's see how she pours it. Eh? Well, it's a beautiful pale gold. Get a wee bit of hard pouring there. I think that may have been too much actually. I still can't get my fridge settings right. That's very cold though. It has been out about five or ten minutes. But... So let's have a wee look at the colour. That's beautiful, isn't it? It's crystal clear and there's some slow rising bubbles. The head is quite a quite a thick foam, pure white. Let's have a wee sniff. Yeah, it's just uh, the maltiness with the the bready maltiness, slight zinginess as well. To you. Cheers, my dears. Prost. Oh yeah. I've noticed. They're all pretty much the same style of beer. Fest beers, there was one margin. They're all either hella style or fest beers. But they all taste different. That has got a slight tanginess, bitterness right up the centre of my tongue, which I don't usually get. Because you get the same, the maltiness is pretty much the same. But there's just different shades of Bitterness and tanginess and sp spiciness for a better word. So let's break it down with the just the classic lion crest on the cap. It's quite grassy though. So we'll do the light test first and you can see it's just a beautiful pale gold, would that be? Straw coloured. What does that describe it as? Three straw to pale. Apparently, hell. You know, you get the uh, low and brow hell. Hell in German means pale. So it's pale beer. I don't think you've got a pale ale, it is a pale ale I suppose, a pale, it's not a ale, it's a lager isn't it? Scrap that, take that out of your mind. Right, so, the clarity is brilliantly clear, it's beautiful, the colour of foam head retention is good, the foam texture is quite fluffy, visual carbonation is slow, there is some uh, bubbles rising. The aroma alcohol is not detectable to mild. Even though it's 6.1, you're not really getting it. Well, I don't. Yeah, the hops is slightly, slightly resinous. Very, very slightly, very slightly citrus. The malt is biscuity, bready. More like white bread, crust maybe. The esters, I'm not going to... 
The alcohol flavour is it's fairly mild actually. It's not a boozy drink. Uh, the hop flavour is very slightly citrusy, very slightly resinous. There is a touch of bitterness, just an edge to take away so it would be, be too sweet otherwise. Hot bitterness restrained, the malt flavour is biscuity bready, malt sweetness is low. Palate astringency low, the body that's really nice. I'm going to say soft, it's like a medium bodied, light to medium bodied. Palate carbonation is fairly low, the length is up to 60 seconds. Balance of drinkability, desirable, style up a bit. So let's have a quick look on Untapped and see what they say. So it's called Lone Brow Oktoberfest beer. Brewed by Spaten Franziskaner Lone Brow Gruppe. A gruppe. So that's like, and it says a macro brewery in Munich, Bayern, Germany. So it's classed as a fest beer. Can't make it to Munich this October. It's cancelled. Not to worry, this bright sparkling brew provides an authentic taste of Oktoberfest. And from half a world away, of course, untapped is American. From half a world away, we'll let you drink in the joy of the world's greatest festival. Served at the very first Oktoberfest celebrations in at ten past six. Oh no, eighteen ten. Lone Brow is a full-bodied and malty brew with a hint of spice and a yeasty tang. There is a tang. So whether you choose to wear your lederhosen or dirndl, that's the dress. I'll, I don't think I'd be wearing that. The lederhosen, yeah. Lone Brow is sure to release your inner Bavarian after the very first sip. It did. Descriptors are sweet, light, smooth, malty, strong. The one friend's check in 3.5, everyone else 38,000 check ins, with an average of 3.31. Oh, that's quite low. I am going to score it. Let me see. <laughs> Yeah, it's got a slightly floral note to it in there as well. Yeah. As the flavours develop, it improves. But it's not, it's not the best I've had. It's not as good as like the Powerlander, I don't think. I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. Which is a very good score. So... I think I've got three more beers, Oktoberfest beers, from breweries I've never heard of before. German. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hope for it. Ta ta for now. Cheers, my dears. I can feel that muscle developing. <laughs>